Hello guys, wanted to show you my distiller that I just got in here. It's distilling away. This is going to take about five hours to do about a gallon. So I remember talking about this before that distilled water is the purest water, the best water. Spring water, you cannot trust spring water nowadays because of everything that they spray in and the spring water it rolls over the rocks and the sand and the mud and whatever and you basically drink in rocks when you drink spring water this is my opinion you're free to disagree but it's my opinion and i drink only distilled water and i was buying a lot of water but now i just wanted to invest in a countertop distiller this is very reasonably priced I mean it's not the best the very best it's not the ideal but it's good for now so I just wanted to show you that so guys I'm in the mood today for some tacos we're gonna do something fun today all right so guys I'm gonna clean this no polish you see those prickly things here what I do is I take the knife and I do this This one does not have too much on it. Like that. There are a lot of this in my neighborhood. This is the season for it. So when I come back, I'm going to be at the stove with this. So this is what you do. All right. So I'm going to put my no polish here on the stove, directly on the stove, and start roasting it. Turn this up a little bit. And then get back to you when it's uh, doing its thing guys i'm gonna do it on this burner here because this is giving me a little bit more flame here this bigger burner instead of this middle burner see it started to started to roast here you can see it here so this should take about five ten minutes see it started to roast the way that i wanted to So that's what you do and when it's done all over gonna cut it up gonna put it in some salt water and take it from there all right it's popping too you can see the slime kind of coming off here and it's gonna make your stove a bit messy but that's okay that's okay this this is my grill because I want that flavor of roasting it like that and not just cooking it in a pan I have some tomatillo here that I'm going to be putting on the stove as well to roast so here we have our tomatillo and the nopales is looking good so this is good it's cooked you see it's charred all over there and you want that char flavor so that's it guys gonna cut this up and put it in some salt water until I'm ready to put my taco together and here I have my tomatillo gonna roast for a little bit the tomatillos start dancing guys you can see it dancing and shaking tomatillos they love to dance see it's dancing and shaking hey guys stream of consciousness today guys this middle here is not going at the rate that I want it to go so I just stopped the tomatillos between here and uh, 
because this is much faster. I see it started to brown here to get black here. I'm going to have a lot of cleaning up to do, but it's okay. Turn this up a little bit. See, it's bubbling away here. See? So I'm going to get this going, and this is much faster than putting it on the tray here. So I have some flour here in a bowl, about a cup. I'm not doing a lot of it. And I have some black sesame seeds here that I'm going to put into my dough. So it's just a twist on things. And I have some grapeseed oil here that I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of it. This is going to give you a bit of the leavening. All you need is just some salt, some flour, and some oil. So you get these little things here like peas. It's like when you're doing pastry. So you get that texture. This is how I do it. You don't need to put any kind of leavening into this, like baking soda. So now I'm going to put my sesame seeds. For a cup of flour, I'm going to put about a tablespoon because I want, you know, about this. About a tablespoon. So when we roll it out, we're going to see those little black dots in the, the dough. So let me get my water and then going to knead this up and let it rest for about 15 minutes and then we make our tortilla. So I have my dough here. I didn't need to show you this just to save on some time. I had about one cup of flour, two teaspoons of salt, and one teaspoon of salt actually, and a tablespoon of sesame, black sesame seeds. About uh, two tablespoons of oil that you drizzle on the flour and that's it and I let this rest and then we roll it out after about half an hour and make our tortilla so guys I have the no polish here I'm just gonna scrape off some of the skin here So this has a nice char on it. I'm going to cut this up and put it in my salt water here. I have some salt water here. I have my rock salt, Himalayan rock salt. Okay, so you have a char on it. I'm going to cut this in half and slice this. Put it in my water. Just something different. And I like the nopalis like this. For some reason, I think it's less slimy when you roast it like this. Yeah, this is going to go into our taco. So this is going to sit here and marinate a little bit in the salt water. And I um, think I'm going to add a little bit of lime juice to this as well. And then this is going to be good. So I'm going to put my dough here, let this start bubbling and then we turn it. Let's 
this is good so this one is good see it's puffing up here a little bit this one I'm gonna turn it it's puffing up I don't know you cannot see it because of the black uh, sesame seeds but it's puffing up this is fine I'm gonna take this out put another one then take this out in about a minute getting ready to take this one off So guys, I'm going to make the sauce for the taco. I have some avocado, the tomatillo that I roasted, and some roasted jalapeno. I'm going to squeeze some lime juice, the juice of half of lime, and some salt. That's about it right very simple very quick I'm going to add some cilantro guys and this sauce is delicious 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 so good so let's go compose our taco okay so let's build our taco so here I have some mushrooms that I stewed I have some tomato paste some thyme some cayenne salt and pepper just put whatever you want to your taste I have the nopales here, put some strips here, I have some shiitake mushrooms that I roasted and then I'm going to add the sauce, this beautiful sauce here, it's so tasty. And then I'm going to add some more cilantro. That's it, guys. So let's eat this. Guys, let's eat. This is so delicious. this crunchy salty John no palace I could eat it as a snack you know you roast it the mushrooms are delicious That sauce, the avocado sauce, the tomatillo, and the jalapeno, and the lime juice. It's all of this world, guys. We need to make this delicious. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. See you in the next video.